Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch this video and to learn OneNote. We want as many people as possible to learn how to work effectively with tools like OneNote, Office 365 and Surface. So please refer this series to your friends and colleagues. If you really want to have an impact with your team, the most effective way is to set aside time each week to improve your digital skills. You can set up this process in your organization with our Microsoft 365 coaching programs. Check out the link below to see our instructor facilitated coaching programs and contact us for more information. Are you ready to get productive with OneNote? Deleting and renaming notebooks is kind of tricky in OneNote because of the way they can be shared with others and the way they synchronize with your device. When you open up a OneNote notebook on your OneNote app, OneNote takes a full copy of that notebook and keeps it locally on your device so that you can work with it when you're offline. If you were to go away and rename or delete the original files, there's still a copy of that notebook sitting in your OneNote apps cache. And it'll sit there and it will keep looking for that original location to synchronize with. Unfortunately, it's not that smart. So if we want to delete or rename a notebook, what we have to do first is close the notebook in OneNote. So if you right click on a notebook name in OneNote, you'll see that you don't have delete or rename as an option in this area, but you do have close notebook. So we can close down the notebook. Now we would need to close the notebook on each of the devices where we have it open so that that synchronization can finish and stop for the moment. Once you've closed the notebook, you can go and find the original file, perhaps it's in OneDrive or in SharePoint, and you can rename it there. To open it again, simply click on the file. It may open up in the OneNote web app, and from there you can click on open in OneNote to open it back in your app. To delete or remove the notebook, simply delete the file. Now that you know how to delete or rename a notebook in OneNote, just remember those key things first. Make sure that you've closed down all of the copies of the OneNote notebook that you have open on your devices, and make sure if you're sharing it with any other people that they've done the same. So like I said at the beginning, renaming notebooks is a little bit tricky, but OneNote has another feature that may help you out. If you just want to rename the notebook for yourself, you can use the nickname feature of a notebook to give it a different display name. Right click on the notebook name and you'll see nickname notebook. Type in a different name here and that will be the name that displays on that notebook for you. This won't change the original file or the name of the notebook for anybody else, but at least it gives you a different name to work with in your notebook list. So now that you know how to delete and rename notebooks, you're ready to stay productive with OneNote. If you've got any questions about deleting or renaming notebooks, put them in the comments below. And remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so that you get notifications about upcoming videos in this series.